Hello everyone, I'm Infinite Reality, also known as John Thickamus. I uh, got that, felt weird saying that, but I love it. To start this video off, we gotta explain what made Chapter 4 so odd, meaning we gotta go back in time before Chapter 4 began, back to the end of Chapter 2. Fortnite was steadily gaining pop its popularity back after Chapter 2 Season 7 ended and Chapter 2 Season 8 began. The cube that almost ended the island back in Chapter 1 had returned, but it was not the only cube this time. The long-awaited end of Chapter 2 was upon us. God, I, this is my first video ever, so like, like a full documentary video, so bear with me. The end of Chapter 2 saw us flipping the island like a pancake, literally, in order to put an end to the Cube Queen's reign of terror. After a short downtime, Chapter 3 began. But something was about to happen behind the scenes that would change the course for, of the storyline for a long time. The chief creative officer behind Fortnite, Don Lester, decided to retire after Chapter Two, Chapter Three, Season Two ended. My bad. Leaving a huge hole to fill in after he left, and that hole was meant to be filled with information about continuing the storyline he once wrote and directed. Instead of continuing the storyline by making Chapter Three have both Mega and Wild seasons, the both the Mega and Wild seasons thus making it a longer chapter, Epic decided to push out the f chapter 4 map earlier than planned by pushing out the Fracture event during the end of chapter 3 season 4. Once chapter 4 began, everybody thought that Epic was continuing down the mustard storyline, but things took a turn for both the better and the worse. For both better and for worse. So I've been playing Fortnite since the day it released, literally. I've never taken a break from the game at all, and I still enjoy it as much as I did back then. I have always wanted to make a video like this one, but I've never gotten around to actually making it until now. If you want to con me to continue making content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I know this all sounds like hella tacky, but I'm here to not make money, I'm here to actually provide entertainment for y'all and factual information. If y'all genuinely want to support me, consider using my supporter creator code in the Fortnite item shop. My creator code is infinite reality. it's one word and it's in all capital letters. Now back to the video, sorry for wasting your time with however long this self-promo segment lasted. Okay, now where were we? Oh yeah, so before chapter 4 ended, we got introduced to a stranger named Stellan. He was called a Rift Warden. Now I have no clue what a Rift Warden does, but Stellan made a name for himself in an Ageless Kingdom. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cause the Ageless Champion rule over the islands? No, it's fine. I'll see myself out, XD Rufflecopter. <laughs> Selen managed to make a portal type device called a Riftgate just north of the just north of a citadel that had belonged to an ageless, ageless champion. Sorry for my stuttering. Once Stellan found a way to power said Riftgate, he activated it. Sadly, he couldn't shut it down in time and it caused a giant rift to open in the sky above the citadel. Damn, I wonder if I've seen an ominous rift in the sky before. Cough, cough, chapter one. Anyways, once Chapter 4 Season 1 ended, Amy's mission, who is the robot, Amy was the robot that was built by the scientist in order to study the Zero Point back in Chapter 3 Season 3. But what she, her mission was is to save the scientist after he got captured by the last reality. But that story sadly got retconned and scrapped entirely, as of right now. The entire Riftgate plan was thrown out the window, and from then on, the term for Riftgate was used for formerly named pure portals that were mentioned in the Batman Fortnite comics book series. But now, instead of being used for transportation by the Imagined Order, they were used for the many, and I mean many, Star Wars collapsed throughout Chapter 4. Now this is where the fun begins, haha, <laughs> just kidding, get it? Things got only more confusing when a giant futuristic Japanese city Escape came through the rifts that were possibly caused by the rift gate built by Rift Warden Stellan. We still have no idea how Mega City Spyome arrived through the multiple tinier rifts compared to the giant one caused by Stellan's rift gate. Instead of having the supposed shapeless man that Stellan had literal nightmares about while living in a medieval kingdom come to that very rift gate, Epic decided to pull a random futuristic city through it instead. Chapter 4 Season 2 was originally supposed to happen during Chapter 3, by the way, with Mega City's biome spawning uh, into Artemis, which is the Chapter 3 map's area, the, the territory. I won't complain too much about Chapter 4 Season 2, though. That season was also packed with storyline stuff, but once again in the form of voice dialogue quests, just like the previous five seasons. 
Sure, the quest during the specific season, season never mentioned anything about the past story whatsoever except for a hint about the last reality in the form of a mysterious being or entity known as Triarch Nox. This dude was part of the group of characters within the last reality's army called the Triarchs. Sadly, after chapter 4 season 2 ended, we didn't get any more information regarding the Triarchs until, until chapter 4 season 4, which was the final season of chapter 4 sadly, again only four seasons and even then we only got the second member of the triarch who was who goes by the name of triarch aurora in the form of a level up quest pack oh wow i didn't expect y'all to listen to me for this long anyways before chapter four season four began we had to put up with a little season known as chapter three season three deforestation is the best i mean wilds wilds was yet another season that was supposed to be a part of chapter three y'all can probably predict what i'm going to say about this very season I can only describe this season as Primal 2.0, personally. Although I like the idea of, crafting, of the crafting system that was introduced in Primal, Wild deliver hardly anything in regards to continuing the original storyline from Donald Mustard. Primal was better than Wild, so fight me about it. Anyways, Wild, Wild unvaulted Dr. Sloan because she apparently survived getting crushed by a 50-story tall robot's fists. Hell, even her tank survived an impact somehow. Oh yeah. Somehow, Optimus Prime digitally birthed a smaller son who looked just like him and sent it to the island. And he told everyone to evacuate because of what was happening during the black hole back in chapter 1 and alternate timeline. So we went back to chapter 1 for a single month in order to cause a glitch in the Fortnite Matrix, and that's how we ended up in chapter 5. After a 15 minute promotional event for Rocket League Racing, a Lego collab, and a short Eminem concert to hype up the Fortnite Festival mode, even though the mode doesn't even feature any Eminem music yet. Well, good thing Agent Jones prevented us from going back to Chapter 2 using the time machine. Just kidding, I love Chapter 2. But hey, that's just a topic for another video. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.